Honoring Standing Bear Growing up in the Ponca tribal homeland on the west bank of the Missouri River in what is today part of Nebraska, Standing Bear became chief at an early age. In the 1870s, the federal government decided to remove the Poncas to designated Indian territory in what is present-day Oklahoma, despite the tribal chief's objections. Within a short time of their forced relocation, a third of the tribe had died, including Standing Bear's son. In defiance of federal orders, Standing Bear and other Poncas tried to return home to bury his son, but they were arrested. A suit was filed for his right to be released and for his right to return home. Prosecutors argue that as a Native American, he was not a citizen or a person under the law. In a landmark decision, Standing Bear v. Crook, the judge ruled in favor of Standing Bear, marking the first instance in history where Native Americans were seen as a person in federal court. The Supreme Court did not dispute the ruling. The government was then forced to arrange for the return of the Poncas to their homeland. In one of the United States' earliest examples of a civil rights-related legal decision, Standing Bear then traveled to the eastern United States for several years after the ruling to speak out in favor of Indian rights. Honoring Standing Bear